Hi everyone, it's Christina from thediymommy.com and today I want to show you how I made over two nightstands, one for a kid's room and one for a parent's oasis. Welcome back to my channel again today. I am so excited to be taking part in a project at the Edmonton Fall Home Show this weekend. It's October 20th to the 22nd at the Expo Center in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So if you are local, I hope that you'll be there because I got the chance to partner with Rustoleum Brands Canada and the Home Show and make over two nightstands from the Habitat for Humanity Restore Center in Edmonton. I made one into a kids room nightstand and one into a parents room nightstand. So these nightstands were only $10 and $20. I found them at the Habitat for Humanity Restore Center. I just used some Rust-Oleum paint and totally made them over and I think they turned out super cute. So if you're local and you come to the Edmonton Fall Home Show this weekend, you can bid on these nightstands and whoever wins the bid will take them home and all of the proceeds go to Habitat for Humanity. Let me show you how I took these in expensive nightstands and I turned them into a really cute unicorn inspired kids nightstand and a beautiful French country inspired adults nightstand. Here is the first nightstand that I found. It's kind of a simple sort of smaller scale nightstand. And here is the second nightstand I found. It's sort of your typical 70s dark wooden nightstand. The first one was $10 and the second one was $20 and I found them at our local Habitat for Humanity Restore Center. So first things first, I took off all the hardware off both nightstands and I also took out all the drawers. Next, I used this crud cutter gloss off. I use this on my camper cupboards. It works really well just to take off any excess shine. It's almost like sanding, but it's much easier. So as you can see, now we have a really nice dull finish so that the next step will work. Uh, I also sanded the top of the second nightstand just because I wanted to try to get that nice wood look and I think it turned out pretty nicely. Then I used some painter's tape and covered up the entire top of the second nightstand so that any spray painting I would do wouldn't affect it. I took some of this bullseye primer and I sprayed it on both of the nightstands everywhere. This stuck really well to the wood on both the nightstands and it's going to give my next spray paint coat a really good finish. I used oil rubbed bronze spray paint for the hardware for the second nightstand and then I used some rose gold metallic for the knob on the first one. I also primed all of the drawers for both the nightstands. And here's how the nightstands looked all primed with the first coat. Next I took this Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch in Blossom White and I sprayed this on the first small nightstand and I'm just using some nice even coats. Then I used this French Blue and I sprayed it on the second nightstand. I really love this color. Then I took this rose gold and I sprayed just the top of the first nightstand with the rose gold. And then I just used some cardboard to kind of protect the white parts of the first nightstand and sprayed the sides of the top in the rose gold as well. Next, I distressed the second nightstand a little bit with some sandpaper. I wanted to give it kind of a really rustic looking French country look. So I sanded really all the parts that I thought would get any natural wear and tear. I also sanded the main part of the nightstand as well, just on the edges. I haven't ever distressed on spray paint before and I was actually really happy with how it turned out. Next, I took the painter's tape off the top of the second nightstand to reveal that raw wood that I had sanded earlier. And I took this Varathane wood stain in carbon gray and I used it to cover the top of the second nightstand and I also used it to cover the spray painted areas as well to give those a more weathered look. And then I wiped off the top and the sides with a clean rag. 
For the first nightstand, I cut a piece of wallpaper the size of the back of the nightstand and installed that in the back and made sure to push that down with my little wallpaper spreader. And then I took this Varathane triple thick one coat clear finish and applied that all over both the nightstands, top, sides, and the fronts of the drawers as well. I think this is my new favorite top coat because it has a matte finish, but it's still very durable. I also took some unicorn themed washi tape and I placed it on the first nightstand just in a few areas that I thought could use a little bit of interest. So I put it on the front and then on the bottom here. I love these unicorn washi tapes. I found them at Michael's. After I put the wallpaper and the washi tape on and after the wallpaper had dried, I used that same Varathane top coat and I just applied it everywhere over the tape, over the wallpaper and over the paint of the first nightstand. Then I reinstalled the hardware on both of the nightstands and I was finished. Here's how the first small nightstand looked before, and here's how it looked now. I think it turned out really adorably, and I think this would be any little girl's dream nightstand with the pops of rose gold, the beautiful floral wallpaper, and the unicorn washi tape. Here's the second nightstand, how it looked before. And here it is now. It's a beautiful French country inspired rustic piece and I'm really loving this blue color. Thanks so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed those makeovers. Remember, if you're local to the Edmonton area, make sure to pop by the Edmonton Fall Home Show this weekend at the Expo Center. That is this weekend, October 20th to the 22nd, 2017, and bid on the nightstands if you like them. All the proceeds go to Habitat for Humanity. Thank you so much to the Fall Home Show and to rust -Oleum Brands Canada for sponsoring these makeovers, and I can't wait to see who these nightstands go home with this weekend. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are inspired with this budget makeover. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home decor ideas. Bye.